Uh, who sets the BBC's time? Who sets world time? Imagine if those in control of time alter a few seconds here and there, and all the gullible sheep will re reset their devices to sync up with this new time correction. Just think of what could be achieved by controlling time. Money gaining interest over uh, all the time. Uh, sorry, money gaining interest over time in all the world's banks. The list is endless. Worth thinking about. This is John James. Yeah, it is. Yes. Very good. Anybody? Should it be obvious though? If you change time, then night wouldn't fall at night, and day wouldn't be day, and you, you sort of. In the end, it sort of catch up with itself. Do you know what I mean? So you'd be going to bed. At I think it's not just a question of who decides what time it is, because at the moment, um, if you're listening live, it's 21 minutes past wherever you are listening in in Switzerland. Except in, for that small bit of except India. for that very small bit of India that's 20 minutes out, which we have to go there and just <laughs> see that one thing. But um, but there's another thing as well. You know, like <clears throat> what day is it today? Anybody? This is not. A this is a start. This is a who wants to be a millionaire starter question. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Okay. And what day is it at the moment in, I don't know, well, actually, some countries, of course, have flipped past midnight, so it's Monday. But at around about midday, UK, Sunday, it was Sunday everywhere, wasn't it? Yeah. Whole planet. Yeah. Whole planet. Yeah. Got Sunday. I don't think there's any countries that don't use Sunday. I mean, countries use different alphabets, don't mm. they? Yeah. But everybody's, it's Sunday. The whole planet's got a Sunday on its hands. Mm. And Sunday is a day, isn't it? It, Sunday is a non-working day in every culture, isn't it? Mm. Right, so our lives are being shaped by that because um, not only are just are we here live on a Sunday doing this, um, but things are happening because it's Sunday. There are people involved in road accidents because they're on their way to a relative's house and they wouldn't have been doing that if it had been a Tuesday, but it's a Sunday. So all these things that are shaping our lives all right, are determined by the fact that no matter what language you speak, religion you follow, it's Sunday. Okay. Now, when they decided that the world was going to have seven days, I think it was the Bible, wasn't it? <laughs> well, who's wasn't they? It? Well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I have this image of there are three or four blokes. They're sitting around a campfire. Yeah. They're drinking, I don't know what. Yeah. <laughs> and they go, right, it is settled then. We have the seven days... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, because then we can make the fuckers work for five <laughs> and have two days off to do the jobs and relax. Yes, agreed, agreed, agreed. Then an argument broke out as to when it starts. See? Mm. Supposing there have been no days and it's us. Supposing we're the day committee, right? <laughs> All right. And we've been told to go up the mountain and not come back till we've got that one sorted, right? What day would you settle for starting the the um, the week? Because we're gonna. I think what they meant they did was like, okay, let's start it tomorrow. Then, if we're all agreed, seven days. Call one Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we'll start it tomorrow. And tomorrow will be Sunday. What an accident of fate that was that's determined all our lives. Because mm. today could be Tuesday, couldn't it? Depending on when they decided. Supposing one of the blokes hadn't turned up, he had a sore throat, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and he said, I'll come a couple of days' time, then today would be Tuesday, the world over. Mm. And all our lives would be totally and utterly different. Mm. Different things. <sighs> then that's if you believe the Bible. Do you know, the Bible is... Uh, have you, who's read the Bible? Nobody. Read, from start, uh, to, no, you know, from start to finish? I tried, I tried. I've read bits of it. My Why? parents are quite heavily religious, so I was brought oh. up on it until I was old enough to be allowed to stay at home legally and then was given the option, do I go to church or not? No. No. What sort of uh, Christians are your parents? Yeah, church of England Christians. Are they? Yeah. What sort of Church of England Christians? Um, well, my dad's on the recently been on the committee that's decided the new vicar, so they're quite right. heavily involved in it. Mm. OK. Um, but Hiring and firing. Hiring <laughs> and firing, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think, you know, Chris... <laughs> yes. I wonder what you got asked at the interview. <laughs> and do you have any questions for us? <laughs> yes. What did they settle on? <clears throat> what did they... What, the vicar? Yeah, what, what? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. That was, I did, I mean, that's interesting, isn't it? a great format, wouldn't it? Oh. Quick, hold that. Get on to Simon Callow. Yeah. That would take off, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 You could call it the Y factor, W H Y. <laughs> yeah, and then they come in, don't they? And they say what they believe about yeah. God and the universe yeah. and how yeah. to live your life. Yeah, yeah. and Simon really Kelly goes, "Not believable." Yeah. <laughs> you're shit. Yeah, you're shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, how do we get onto all of that? Oh, time and time. day, yeah, time yeah. and days, and time. Mm. 
There's a few stuff. No, the Bible. Right, so, you know when you're in a hotel room oh, and yeah. there's nothing to do, there's nothing on the telly, you don't want to fork out that for those porn. Um, and so there's a Gideon Bible. The little Gid red one. Little Gideon Bible in every hotel room in the Western world. They get well, around, don't they? Anymore. The Gideons, well, that's what they're there, that's what they're about. They're an organisation that was set up a charity just to put a Bible in every hotel room, so all those sad you salesmen. You see, I have a theory that they must be a contributor to the climate change problem we have. Skype. Oh, oh sorry, no, it's just sorry. hung up, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, because yeah. these Gideons, right, yeah. a lot of hotels around the world, yes. okay, a lot of rooms in. So a lot of Bibles. Think about the amount of air miles, mm. the amount of petrol, yeah. the Dream amount filling. of fuel. Do you think it's one guy? It takes, well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's got free air miles, so many air miles now, he travels the world first class for free. <laughs> he goes around sticking these Bibles Stuart, you're, you're, you're good at this. Because yeah, what I did was, I was in, sat in my hotel room and there's nothing else to do and I thought, right, there's no good me having a view about Christianity if I can't back it up. I'm going to read the Bible. So yeah. I, sat, I started to read the Bible. See if you can get me chapter and verse... Um, the first page of Genesis. Genesis. And, and I read it and I found a f an error. <laughs> a basic error in the way we interpret the Bible on like the second or third verse of Genesis. It starts in the beginning, like that. God made the earth. It's something like that. Yeah, that's what you want to do. And I'll show you what I consider to be an odd thing. Well, you know those Gideon Bibles, you're not allowed to have them in hotels anymore because oh, they right. offend Muslims. And Is stuff. that right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. There we go. That's right, here good. we go. Okay, just let me see if I can find... Thank you, this is brilliant. You're very good, Stuart. Well done. Right. <clears throat> right. Okay. Go down to the third line. God called... I'll read the whole bit because it doesn't take long. First God made heaven and earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light was good. And he separated the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And there was evening. And there was morning. One day. So it suddenly just happened one day. No, no, no. Look, look at the order of it. There was evening and there was morning. One day. Right. Mm, evening came first. Evening came first. Yeah. Right. So, mm. a Any day, we got there, asked about face. Yeah. And we think that a day begins at midnight. A day begins at midday, according to God, mm -hmm. in the Bible. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, See? good point. Oh, but it is, isn't it? If, if these... Excuse my language. No offence to your parents. If these mothers who read the Bible voraciously and go to all these Bible classes and spend all their time trying to work out what to do next as a result of what it says in the Bible, if they hadn't spotted that one on the fifth line and gone, <laughs> hang on, <laughs> hang on, either the Bible's crap or we're crap at interpreting yeah. it. I think it's a, it's a great book. Is it? It's a great set of moral values, supposedly, mm. but I think Fuck that's all off. it is. It's just an idea, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think the guys have just found another email. I'll well, do this one. Yeah, go on then. All right. Um, this is this is the legs theory that, that we really haven't explored uh, so far. We've had it's, we've had several. It's generated a lot yeah, of we, complaints. We've had, we've had several actually, and I think. Hang on, how does this work? Um, uh, let's do um, let's do Marco Taylor first. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah, just that. Can I just explain go. that yeah. the theory is, do we need our legs now, the way the world's going? All right. Do we need legs? Tommy and chaps, I want to register my disgust at your mockery of the disabled as someone who lost their legs in a freak accident with the automatic doors at my local Asda store a few <laughs> years back. Instead of ridiculing people That's in my easy. condition, you should be using your forum to get the NHS to change their policy of only offering one sim synthetic leg per patient. What? I wouldn't have minded, but they only had black ones available, so I'm now one leg down and the other is the <laughs> wrong colour. I even had to pay for my own crutches. No doubt you'll find this funny, but I can assure you my predicament isn't funny and I wouldn't wish this plight on anyone. <laughs> P.S. I check my turds every morning and would love to know why we can't digest sweet corn. Also, when we were sick, where do the carrots come from? Let's have a proper debate without the mockery. So Good that's point one. about sweet corn, isn't yeah. it? I think it's because they don't chew. You don't chew each kernel properly. The husks also. Well, are it's, very it's the same with potato firm. skin. They say if you have a colonic irrigation, yeah. that you'll pull out potato mm. skin that's been stuck in your intestines for years. I would like to have a colonic irrigation. Mm. I really oh, would enjoy oh, but that. Secretly, I think. Yeah, I think. That yeah, and I'd just like to clear out that 
you know instant detox yeah, yeah just just suck it all out let's get you know and start again with the only 